Yo, what's up guys? It's Ryan, and uh, we're back with making some melodic dubstep. Uh, let's go ahead and just listen to what we've got so far. So, it's it's going pretty well, I think. Um, first thing I need that I want is a uh, risers to the second half of the drop, like that. Yeah, and then it needs to like hit. So I'll have the same thing, but reversed, but turned down like way more. So I'm going to do that thing with the auto pan. Where you uh, automate the amount like that and the rate. Something like that. So, raise riser, raise riser, reversed, turn up the reverb. Um, all right, next, I guess I'll just go ahead and put them just to add, add another layer. So next I'm thinking we need, uh, the B drop. So let's uh, get right into doing that. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the same like hi hat pattern, throughout basically the entire thing, just because they're not like super important right now. Like if it was a if it was a trap song, like that rhythm is super like distinct, and all the rest, not so much here, and they're kind of just filler. All right, so what I'm thinking. Something like Something like that, maybe. And then if I add like a a kick every time a chord hits, then maybe it won't suck, hopefully. Alright, that could work. And then add the snare on the the two. So this kit could actually go right there. We could have another one 
on the one right there. Something like that. Um, this kick doesn't need to be there, I don't think. Yeah. Um, go in and add the reverse snares. Right there. Alright, and then... I just copy-paste it. Something like that. And then for the bases, need one for the sub. And then for the chord bass. keep the same lead line really and just like mark it up to being a uh, like fancy writing <laughs> um sidechain stuff is a little important all right I, mean, I can just try to throw this like the superior drummer stuff in and that's not gonna work it's too it's too off Um, I can add in some more of that though. There's some like different stuff. Or I could just have this crash hit every two bars and call it a day. needs to resolve. Or maybe it doesn't. Yep. There we go. Um, and then take some filler stuff. Throw it in there. That's a good one for that. Maybe that. I think that's where it was. Yeah. Let's just see what it sounds like with. I'm filling the gaps in, see if it's necessary. Okay. Um, I think, I think like bass hits every now and then would be cool in this. But I don't know if we need them like as much. Go ahead and take a reverse kick or two.
Um, yeah, add them right there too. Nailed it. Something like something like that, and then it'll repeat. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to figure out these filler bases though first to see if I even want them there. So let's, let's listen in context. noise riser the automation right there come down a lot like around there I can also get turned down a little it's just like kind of grating on the ear um, so I think I think the B drop needs a needs another instrument for sure, but I don't think it's bass. So let's uh figure out what we should put in there. I think we need a second lead. One that follows the chords actually. I'll just make it the top note. that copy that over um serum turn it way down Something like that. Something super simple. The only problem is now they're like fighting for space. These two. So I need to heavily EQ.
and then duplicate the whole thing and then switch up the, the lead line over here and just put this up an octave yeah I, I'll just put it up an octave and it'll work like a little fill right here. Super subtle, but it works. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a beat drop. Um, all right. So we're gonna insert. I guess twenty eight bars. Think that'll work. All right. So, intro. Crash symbol. Uh, Glockenspiel. For the roads in there. it with the sub on um I'll take the the hi hat pattern too. So I guess that I'm probably just going to use the same one for everything. Take the sub right there and then we've got We need side chain. That's <laughs> that's what I'm forgetting. And then copy paste and duplicate or whatever it's technically called. <laughs> I think if we had this like plucking like that the entire time, maybe. it right now but odds are like in an hour I won't so I'll just leave it there for now
I need like a like a riser thing. I like a reverse lead. Take it from the clock. Throw on. Ton of reverb. Something like that. Record it. Something like that. Get rid of the reverb. Now you've got this thing. Just reverse it. Something like that. So I only wanted that on the that one on the second one I go around. Right now I'm going to go ahead and add this to everything over here. Just have another like rising element. Like reverse. All right. Maybe something like to get filtered in. So I'm gonna add auto filter. go into a riser um god risers i hate risers <laughs> so i just undo never mind um we need another bar of space just because it'll like rise 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 and then it'll hit hold for like a bar and then drop um or maybe i need it just hit hit and it reminded me impacts all right so oh man i suck at risers <laughs> let's uh let's let's do it though let's struggle together so add all of that. The super saws will filter in. Filter in to like right there. It'll be full.
full like one phrase before and then the lead can get filtered in like the last little bit I don't have an EQ or anything on this lead that's a problem it's probably got low end that I don't want I'll like cap out, I'll like right there. Yeah. Put it right there. Alright. Something like that. And then. Let's just see if copying the drums will, will work. It's not going to. I can I can tell. Something. I'll copy the the hats though. that the superior drummer crashes. Twice as fast, not like the last bar. Um, I don't want that many superior drummer crashes though, maybe something like that. Filter in the chord base too. That right there. Auto filter. That's barely like audible, but whatever. Oh, it's because the sidechain. Um, sidechain's kind of destroying everything, so I'm gonna. Turn that down a little. Or do the sensible thing and get rid of half of them. This right there. Like 
reverse snare into it, reverse kick into it. And then grab the superior drummer triplet fill, wherever that is. Right there. Get that right there. Yeah. Something like that. And then throw an EQ8 on every single one of the tracks or for the groups. Have it high pass slowly. And I can use the same one up here and the same one down here. The same one right here. For sure. Get some giant sixteen one. Something like that. Some monster of a riser. Turn it way down. Get another. I'm like four bar one. Still crazy loud. Get another one. This one will be eight. care much about EQing right now. All I know is I don't want any low end on any of them. Alright, the bass gets cut out way too fast. time so we're just gonna go ahead and listen to all two minutes that we've got so let's uh let's do it just gonna go ahead and close everything and
also obviously intro and riser need some work still and so does the the b drop but it it's sounding better than i expected it was going to and uh that's a that's a win for me so we'll continue working on it in the next videos obviously uh that's that's what the next one will be is next one will probably be finishing the intro and riser and maybe touching the b drop if not the next one will be that so yeah i uh hope you enjoyed if you got any questions let me know in the comments and uh like comment subscribe do all that nonsense and i'll see you in the next one see ya